What's up, my brothers? My name is Vinny Camilleri. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a little advert picture using Art Studio Pro. So I'm going to go to New, and then I'm going to select Custom, and then I'm going to go to Square, which is uh, 1024 by 1024. And then here we go, we've got a blank canvas, okay? So I'm going to drag in a photo that we have of Dan the Man. Pretty cool guy. I'm going to click on transform and then I'm going to zoom out so I can grab hold of the picture and just squeeze it down a bit, yeah? Nice one, there we go. Okay, let's make that a little bit bigger. Okay, I look like him. I've got a cool dude there as well. Right, let's get him in the center. I'm going to click on that to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to drag this down because I want to use the dark edges from the top to make things stand out I'll make it apparent in a minute yeah I like that okay next thing I'm gonna do is drag in one of the logos right let's try the black one first so these are the logos that you can get from the file section in the Facebook group the beard struggle the beard struggle. Okay, let's make that a little bit smaller. Drag it in, put it in the middle. There's the lines. You know when it's centered, when that line appears. Yep. Okay. Click on. Oh. Okay. You need to click on done before you click on anything else. Let's put that back in the middle. Click on done. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to click on adjust and I think it'll look better in white. So instead of changing the picture, I'll just invert it. And then down here we've got some effects. We've got emboss. Um, I like to try all of them to see. Strike. And a glow. Mm, kind of like that. Um, and a shadow even that was. Out of glow. Groovily. Pilot Viking again. Epic. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen any of his uh, films, especially the ones he does for Dan Heim as well. Wow. Amazing uh, videographer and uh, he looks brilliant. He, he should be in Vikings, I think, along with Thor and everyone else. Anyway, let's get back to this. So, yeah. Um, and a shadow. Hmm, I do like that. Right, I'm just going to look for something else now. When um, when you put a voucher code in, it always looks better if you've got some kind of box around it to give it a frame. I found this dotted rectangle on the internet somewhere, so it's, it's a little bit orange or something. So I'll get it to the middle. Uh -huh. Okay, babe. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, Sienna Camilleri you know, just watching Elmo in the background. So I'm just going to mess around with the levels because... I either want this black or I want it white. So that's what this looks like black. Hmm, I kind of like that as well. It's a little bit fresh. Okay, I'm gonna put some text in here. Um, so I'm like keep that white. Remember, you can change it to literally any color you want. So, play. Let's go out like this blue and white kind of look with the the sea and down rushing out to see what uh, an amazing picture this is you know c credits to the uh, the photographer he's brilliant absolutely brilliant it's an art form taking pictures like this and he's uh, he's got it I'm just going to take this down a little bit yeah looks okay click on done Come on. okay I'm going to move that into the centre drag it up yeah I like that there and um, now instead of clicking on the text button again and adding more text, I can just go to the um, text that I've already got and duplicate it. You won't see it, but it's there in the same place. You just drag it down, yeah? So that saves me having to do another one. It's up to you. Okay, so I'm just going to click on that and um, use the code. Use the use code at checkout yeah okay so let's make that a little bit smaller 
coming back down. There we go, there we go. Again, fellas, um, this is a program called Art Studio Pro. Uh, it's a fairly cheap program. Uh, I don't know how to use Adobe. It's, I know that's probably a simplified version of it. Um, if anybody out there knows how to use Adobe and wants to put a little video together to show the other guys who do have Adobe, then that would be brilliant. Um, right, I'm going to do this. Let's see if we can change the the font because I think it's just a bit too thick. So I want something a little bit thinner. Yeah, there we go. Use code at checkout. I'm going to have to make that a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to double click on the inside the box and then take the size down click on done and then click on this button to move it to the center yeah i'm liking that okay um we need to see what this looks like let's go to view and then zoom to fit yeah look at that the sound that it is right um right let's get a picture now I'm going to, instead of just keeping it like that, I'm going to try and spice it up a little bit. Um, I found this picture of Thor, put these little bright lights over his eyes to really give him a kind of a mystical, magical look. I mean, he has that anyway, doesn't he? So, mystical and magical, I mean, just look at that. What a legend. Um, okay, I'm going to click on done, and then over here we've got this normal darker multiply colour burn linear. And they just basically give you a different effect. Screen is like an overlay. See what's underneath? Yeah, I like that. These are the other ones. Um, it's always good to just have a quick look to see what your options are. Um, because with different kinds of pictures, different things work. But I think we're going to be sticking with screen on this one. Because it looks the best for this picture. Remember, there's no rules. Just make them up as you go along, isn't it? You know... Right, let's move this and drag it up a little bit. I'd like his eyes at the top to the corner, right? Yeah, I think that's quite powerful. It's um, like I've made it a couple of um, short fit um, Australian short film uh, movie posters, and this is the kind of thing that I did when I created that. I I spin. Pilot Viking, what a dude, excellent drone pilot, and cinematographer, and he's a bit of a daredevil as well, he likes to jump off of things at height, not me, I'm scared of heights, man. but I have done a lot of things um, to overcome the fear, because you've got to face your fears, haven't you, as you do, alright, yeah, let's take the opacity down a little bit, Just move that now can you see the line that's um, going up there we don't want that because it just looks uh, unprofessional so let's click on transform let's fill it out make it bigger so we need to fill the space so once you fill it it all kind of blends in um, to make that a little bit bigger right, let's drag that up yeah, look at that. It's very subtle, subtle works. Okay, let's mess around with the opacity. Yeah. So I, I like to go from low to high in pretty much everything to see, you know, the dynamics of and the range of what you can actually do. Right, so I'm happy with that really. I'm gonna put this into photos, iPhotos this is, and I'm just gonna click on the magic fix it button, because normally that does most of the work for you, and then I'll just tweak it a little bit. Um, this is brilliant, it's quite a powerful tool. You can use any photo app really to Mess around with the colours. It's the light. OK. 
Okay, let's have a look at the shadows. Take some of the shadows down, I think. Yeah. Take the highlights. They need to go down. Yeah. It's more rich colours. And then more contrast, I think. I'm definitely going to turn the black point up. Because that will just give it a bit more depth. Make it deep and richer. I'm pretty happy with that. I like that. And maybe boost the colour up a little tiny bit. I don't know. Let's see what it, the auto button does. I think it should be there. So let's boost it. Yeah, I like that. It's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, the possibilities are endless. This is just a quick example of what you can do. Um, so if you're on, if you've got an Apple, you've got Photo, you can export it. Like this, um, but quick and easy way is just to drag it onto the desktop. And then let's just minimize this. Double click that. And let's take a look at our finished picture. So I'm going to put this on so you can use it and just add your code on it as well. Yeah. And um, but if you've got this program, you can get it on a mobile or on uh, for desktop. So I like that. I think it's quite fresh and um, I'm happy with that guys I hope you enjoyed that it was only short if there's anything that you want me to do then I can you know certainly have a look leave a comment and if there's any kind of video that we, you want me to make then I'll have a pop at that go create Vikings you can do this go and get your sales and we're promoting the brand it's not like sale 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 let's let's be ourselves and along the way we can put the discount code up and go hey come create some magic and i hopefully see some excellent works from your good selves remember brothers help each other form little teams guide each other support each other and let's make this work yeah we got one chance in life so do it all right thanks guys i'll see you next time bye bye